Hello everyone, welcome back to another guide video. Today we're playing Mirage Perfect Skyline and today I'm gonna teach you how to get a lot of Psyche. It is kind of on the gray zone, like I don't, it, there, there's no rule against it. Like nobody has said that it's not allowed. And so if it's not against terms of service, I would say that it's legal. As far as I know, this isn't illegal, but maybe it's frowned upon. But uh, I don't think it's an exploit in the sense because you have to grind for it. So yeah, let me show you what I mean. So you probably saw this in the terminal or somewhat in the terminal. You have sold your item for 23k. That, that's pretty much. And how you may be wondering, oh, how do you get 23k Psyche? Well, I will explain it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and create a new, char new character on the server that you're playing on. Once you have created your character, you will level it up to level 50 where you unlock market. Uh, it takes around 10 minutes, I think. And then you redeem all the gift codes which is available, which is around 17k Psyche. Uh, and once you have uh, redeemed all the codes, uh, you will... Because this is why it's not an exploit, because you have to sell items on your main, which you may need. Like, if, if I were to sell, let's say... Let's say I were to sell 35 of these, right? If I were to sell 35 of these, this would, uh, or I guess uh, 34 of them. Um, that would mean I, I would lose a lot of sellers right to weapon, which I actually need. Uh, but yeah, the, the point is to have your new character with the Psyche, it's 17k, or if you play a little bit more, you will have more Psyche as shown in the mail, in-game mail, if you level it up a bit. You will get Psyche from leveling up and doing stuff. And so essentially it is like you're you're selling your items on your main uh, and you're buying them with your uh, with your secondary account. Therefore, if I were to sell this, uh, my secondary account could buy this for 12,600 Psyche. I'd get probably 11k or something. And so uh, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of... It's, it's kind of factual to the thumbnail, uh, I think, uh, and title. It should be around 20 minutes to you, 10 minutes to claim the codes, around 10 mi minutes to level up, around that. Uh, and then you have, then you have, will have seven, uh, around 17k uh, psyches. Uh, and you may also try and use the codes multiple times. Maybe you will get more psyches. And so you're essentially buying your own stuff in the market. So. If, if you just, if you don't care about an item, like, like, let's say I didn't care about this, I would sell that, then my alt could buy that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and that, that's kind of, that's kind of how it works. So it's kind of in the gray zone, but I don't think it's an exploit because you do have to actually sell things you may need. Like, you don't get the psyches for free because you have to give something for them. Uh, and therefore, I think it's uh, justifiable to do it. Um, if you could exploit, if it was an exploit where you lost nothing on your main ac account, then it would be an entirely different story. But as, but as it stands, you're actually selling things for their actual value, their price, which the game has deemed. Uh, and so it should be obviously not a problem because you're you're giving something and you're getting something in return. And so, yeah, I, I think I think that kind of explains it. And so, yeah, that's about it. So, let me read your rate. You create a new character on the same server that you're on. You level that character until you unlock market. You claim all the gift codes. You can just Google them. You get around 17k Psyche. You sell items with your main account and you buy them with your alt account and you get Psyches to your main account. Uh, and yeah, I, I think it's fine because you're actually just selling things. So, I mean, yeah, if the game didn't think this bangle would be worth 22.5k, it shouldn't be placed pri prices that. But the reason why I'm saying it's in the gray zone is because it is in the gray zone. It's not perfectly, uh, like, the more, like, it's not more, it, it's kind of in the gray zone more, more uh, morality-wise. Because you're kind of like, if, if someone else wanted to buy that bangle, or if, uh, yeah, because you would kind of be taking away the option to buy a bangle or an equipment from someone else. But then again, it, it, usually, at least in dead servers like mine, mostly dead servers, it's not dead. 
Uh, but, <laughs> but some idea servers like mine, you're, you, you will never be able to sell your items very efficiently. Like there is not people around to sell them or to buy them. Therefore, this would be a way to not have your psyche be stale forever unless you paid real money for the monthly thing. Uh, and that's kind of the downside about the market is that if the server is dead, you essentially have a very, a very, very limited options of obtaining psyche. The only way you would be able to get them is really here and through dungeons. Uh, but the market is a very big part of the game. And I think the market does become semi useless later on in the game if the server is kind of dying. And therefore, uh, I think this is a good way to counter that where if you need psyche, you can just buy your own stuff and uh, do it with, do it like that, essentially. So yeah, there's been multiple times these past days, I've seen no items. I, I've seen, I think I see every single day, there's no items here. Absolutely no items in the market. So I think this is a good workaround. Uh, like I've been very fortunate that there are people still playing. So some people are still buying stuff, but it's much less frequent than it is. So yeah, you can try and do this on your own. Um, you may choose not to do it. Uh, but as far as I know, uh, I don't think it's like against the rules. Like, why would it be? There's no terms of service, ter terms of service saying you can't do that. And so, yeah. Anyway, it's in the gray zone. So <laughs> it really is up to you uh, whether you would want to do it. But I mean, like 23k easy psyche, like. Look at that. Look at that. I think I think that's worth doing. I haven't done it myself, but uh, yeah, a viewer suggested it to me. So, I mean, it's kind of tempting to do it just just to get Psyche if I need it. But then again, uh, obviously, if I were the game developers, I would also look at this in the gray zone. Maybe not be too happy about it, but I mean, what rule is it breaking? Like, aren't people allowed to make accounts? Uh, aren't people allowed to play multiple accounts? So there's really no... There's no way they could police this. Because it's like, if I want to play on another account, why can't I buy things from my main account? Like, if, if I need something. Like, if, 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 a, if a friend of mine played and they gave me their account, and they had buy, they had bought from a main account for a, uh, for a month. Wouldn't I be able to buy my own stuff on that account anymore? So there there's no way to police this. There's no way to justify d disallowing it uh, because it's essentially disallowing people from using from having multiple accounts, and they cannot do that. <laughs> it's impossible to say yeah no. You're only allowed to have one account at their game. I'm sorry, you're only allowed to have one character, one account. I'm sorry, that's it. And no, under no circumstance can you buy <laughs> things to help your alt accounts from your, your main account. No, that's disallowed. So <laughs> the moral of the story is I don't think it's I don't think they can do anything about it. I think that's just how it is when there is an auction house. And so yeah, I think I think it's okay to do. Uh, but it's up to you if you want to do it. But making the case for, like, just saying it out loud, like, it's it's kind of stupid if they disallowed it, because they literally can't. They, they, they simply cannot. You can just make another email. Like, there's no way to trace it. It's like torrenting. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this little grayish area guide video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks to the person who suggested this. Uh, and told me about it, and um, yeah, that's about it. Have a nice one, guys, and bye-bye.